Intrepid Shapiro here, the fearless old tool and I are hoping you can lend us a hand on a kid power mission. We've had our eye on you for some time, and we know you won't bail when things get dicey. Oh, really? No, that's okay. Thanks anyway, Renee. Bye. Piano lessons. Hmm. Well, Shapiro, looks like it's you and me. Wait, I'm available. I'm available. Hmm. Take you on this mission? I don't think so. If Mom found out we took her baby Jakey Poo on a risky operation, we'd be banished from this house forever. You can't ask Renee and not ask me. I've waited too long for this. Don't call Kid Power, Pipsqueak. Kid Power will call you. And don't even think of following us. Awfully quiet, O'Toole. Not for long, Shapiro. This is your dangerous mission? Squirt, what are you doing here? All you're doing is getting a ball out of someone's backyard. I can do that by myself. What do you think, O'Toole? He's certainly eager enough. No, no. Too young. Too rash. He lacks the kid power stuff. I'll show you. I'll show you. Well done, O'Toole. Operation Bait the Hook is a resounding success. Those two always make such a big deal out of the easy. to trigger the pounce reflex. And don't let it know you're afraid. Dogs can smell fear. I think I can smell it too. Thanks for your assistance, small fry. Good work and good luck. <laughs> <laughs> You asked for it. I'll show them. They can't tell me I'm not ready to join Kid Power. Huh? Uh oh. Yeah! Which one is it? Which one? Cats must feel. You got our ball! You guys are so awesome! Three cheers for Kid Power! Hip hip, hip hooray! Hip hip, hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Looks like you two are enjoying your breakfast. Oh yeah, gotta love this birch bark and brand mega fiber cereal. It keeps Kid Power strong and regular, Mom. Kid Power! Good morning, Sunshine. Good morning. Sounds like someone didn't get a very good night's sleep. What happened, Pipsqueak? Nightmares? Perhaps something involving big white fangs? Grrr! Hmm. Don't even talk to me. Whoa! 
not so fast. Your tender intestines aren't ready for the heavy-duty roughage in Birch Bark and Brand's cereal pipsqueak. Just like I'm not ready to join Kid Power, I did all the work. You guys walked away the heroes, leaving me alone with that vicious dog. Dog? What dog? Uh, we told him to stay home. It's his fault he followed us. You tricked me into going. Tricked you? Us? I talked to Renee. She told me you never phoned her to join Kid Power. You were just setting me up. Again. Um, oh, not Renee Rattel. A different Renee. Renee Clark. Renee Jones. Renee, Renee Jones. Clark. You wouldn't know her. It seems as though you don't know her that well yourselves. Okay, it's like this. It was the intention of Shapiro and myself to observe your prowess when confronted with a dicey situation. Uh, right. So how'd I do? How'd I do? Your quickness of mind and fleetness of foot were exemplary. I have to admit, the hose was a nice touch. You should have seen me, Mom. I was working that backyard like a cheetah. Well, we'd better get going, Shapiro. Indeed, O2. Lots of important kid power business. Just a second, you two. It seems to me Jacob has proven himself worthy to be included in some of your important business. Nunu, Kid Power! Yes! Hi -ya! Hey, kiddo, what are you up to? Top secret business, Dad. Kid Power Junior Agent, codename Dogbait. Hmm, <laughs> sounds dangerous. I was enlisted for my speed and daring. You look pretty dashing in that cape, I must say. Shapiro and O'Toole said the smallest size is standard issue for junior rank. Well, I'm sure with your determination, you'll be promoted to a full-sized bath towel soon enough. You're right, Dad. You're right. Well, no time to chat. I'm off to Kid Power headquarters to get my next assignment. Go get him, partner. Daniel, what are you doing? Packing up my party tent for the Bleeding Ears concert. Party tent? No way! This is Kid Power Headquarters! Kid Power Headquarters! Whoa, chill, small fry. Haven't you heard? Kid Power is history. What? But I just joined! I just joined! Don't blame me! Shapiro's the one who hogged all the cereal. The cereal? It wasn't me, it was O'Toole. Or as he shall be forever known from this day forward, oh, traitor! But it's just cereal. Just cereal. What's the big deal? Because it wasn't really Birch Bark and Brand. That's the big deal. It was one of Kid Power's most brilliant ploys. Here's the box Mom sees. But here's what's really inside. Triple sweetened sugar-frosted honeycrumb. Numero uno on Mom's top ten forbidden cereals list. Shapiro and I made a pact to share it 50-50. I kept my honor while old traitor snuck behind my back and hogged it all for himself. Get off it, Emma! Only two people knew what was really in that box, and since I didn't eat it, obviously you did. Ha! Likely story, triple frosted honey crumb breath. <laughs> Hmm. Big fight breaks up kid power. It's in the news? The family news. Your mother told me all about it. <sighs> My kid power membership really lasted an afternoon. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure they've already forgotten what they were mad about. Do you think so? Do you think so? The best thing to do is smile and act like it never happened. If you don't mention it, this little tiff will blow over in no time. Really? Good morning. Good morning. What's with you, Squirt? Yeah, why so cheerful? Well, who wouldn't be on such a sunny morning? And I'll bet you two are going to kickstart your breakfast with a bowl full of birch bark and bran cereal. Oof. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Or toast. Yeah, toast is good. I'll make it. I'll make it. How is everyone this morning? Fine, fine. We're all fine. I'm making toast for Noah and Emma. Now isn't that thoughtful. 
You two aren't having your usual birch bark and bran cereal today? No, there's none left because someone ate more than their share. And I'm looking at that low-down sneaky someone right now. New topic. Let's talk about toast. No more talking about that cereal, please. What cereal? Ugh! Birch bark and bran! Birch bark and bran! Okay? I can't hold down a piece of toast if I have to eat in the same room as him. Just the thought of her has made me lose my appetite. Ugh! Now things are even worse than yesterday. Even worse! Our boat went over that fence again. Uh, sorry, but uh, O'Toole and Shapiro are b busy on another urgent kid power mission. Aww. Um, so they've uh, authorized me, Junior Agent Dogbait, to carry out this important mission solo. Yeah! 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 Uh-oh, did that dog get the upper hand this time? No, I got away from the dog, but I was so dizzy from running in circles, I kicked the ball over the wrong fence. The wrong fence! Well, at least you got the ball out of the yard. And onto the street, where a bus drove over it. Everyone freaked out and started shouting, Kid Power stinks! I had to jump through some rose bushes to escape. Noah's right. Kid Power is a team operation. I guess it really is over. Well, speaking of kid power, it looks like there's a very important envelope here for you. <gasps> I'll handle that. I'll take over from here. Why don't I open that before someone gets a paper cut? What do we have here? My secret decoder. Your secret decoder? I cut out the box tops for it. Who filled out the order form? Me. Who got the envelope and postage stamp? Me. Who addressed the envelope and licked the postage stamp and took it to the letterbox? Me, myself, and I. Sounds to me as though it was a real team operation. So, you both deserve half. What? It has to be together to work, Dad. Just like Kid Power. Dad's right. He's right. The sooner you start cooperating, the sooner you'll be decoding messages together. Cooperate? With him? Not a chance. No secret message is worth solving if I have to solve it with her. Instead of building a bridge, it looks like I dug a canyon. It's going to take you guys twice as long to do the dishes this way. Who cares? At least we don't have to be in the same room together. Huh? <gasps> it's a secret message. A secret message. I don't need the decoder to figure this out. Really? What does it say? Please get Kid Power back together. Signed, Junior Agent Dogbait. I didn't write it. Oh, come on. It's so obvious. Nice try, Squirt. But what if it's important? Well, then, all the more reason not to trust Crapiro with it. That goes double for O-Trader. Someone has to decode the secret message. Looks like it's up to me. P. M. Pier 14, 2.35 p.m. Hmm, sounds like trouble. And with the rest of Kid Power out of commission, this is a job for... Junior Agent Dog Me! Hmm, Pier 14, 
2.35 p.m. But there's no one here. Why would anyone send a secret message and then not show up? <laughs> Fish and fowl? I wonder what those two stinkers are up to. Canadians already have more water than they know what to do with. No one's gonna miss the piddly amount that flows from the St. Lawrence. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, fowl. It's simply gonna spill into the ocean anyway. Why shouldn't we send it to our good friends south of the border? And get filthy, stinking rich. <laughs> you said rich. I love what you said. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Who's going to drink filthy, stinking water? They'll be lucky to sell one bottle of this stuff. <gasps> whoa, 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 what was that? Ah! Fish! Be careful, you clumsy butterfingers! It wasn't me, Fowl. Whoa! That's not water! It's... nitroglycerin! Let me down! Let me down! Oh, but you have such a marvelous view from up there. You can see the mighty St. Lawrence flowing south to the United States. The St. Lawrence doesn't flow south. It doesn't flow south. Oh, but it will, once we fix it. So, shall we weigh anchor, fowl? Indeed, fish. To the sub! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what'll I do? I have to stop them. I have to stop them. <gasps> O'Toole! O'Toole! Up here! Jake? Boy, am I glad you're here. Hurry, get me down! Get me down! How did you get up there in the first place? It was fish and fowl. They've got a submarine and torpedoes and nitroglycerin and an evil plan! This sounds like a job for... Kid Power! Need a hand? Glad to have you on the mission, intrepid Shibiro. Glad to be here, Phyllis O'Toole. And by the way, I accept your apology, old top. Huh? I didn't apologize to you, old bean. You apologize to me. Excuse me? What was the letter you slipped under my door? Your door? This was under mine. I'm so sorry about the serial incident. If you don't mention it again, neither will I. Rendezvous at Pier 14 for an important kid power mission. Signed, Intrepid Shapiro. Interesting. I have the same letter signed by Fearless O'Toole. Hmm. I had to do something. Kid Power is a team operation. And if there was ever a mission that needed the whole team, this is... Nice try, Squirt. We should have known this was your lame idea to reunite Kid Power. It's over, Squirt. Without trust, there can be no Kid Power. What would you know about trust? Enough to know not to trust you ever again. Oh, traitor! Frapiro! Oh, traitor! I ate the sugar-frosted honey crumbs! I did it! It was me! I thought it was birch bark and bran. It tasted so good, I couldn't stop eating it. Oh, why didn't you tell us before, you little weasel? I wanted to belong to Kid Power for so long. I was afraid you'd kick me out on my first day for eating your secret cereal. Why don't we kick you out on your second day instead for sending us on this wild goose chase? It's not a wild goose chase. It's not. They're going to change the direction of the St. Lawrence. Hmm. <laughs> Submarines, evil plans. Nice try, Pipsqueak. A submarine? I think Junior Agent Dogbait may be onto something, Shapiro. I concur, O'Toole. An evil plan is indeed afoot. I believe the evildoers are in a spot of trouble, O'Toole. 
An accurate assessment, Shapiro. <laughs> Shapiro, O'Toole, I'd like you to meet Fish and Fowl. A pleasure to foil you. That was without a doubt the most exhilarating kid power mission I've ever experienced. I agree, Shapiro. Tell us, Junior Agent Dogbait, how did you catch wind of this skullduggery at Pier 14? Actually, I have another confession to make. I borrowed this to decode the secret message. You put it together backwards, Pipsqueak. I did? But then, how did I solve the message? Let me see that. Very interesting, Shibiro. Most intriguing, O2. What does it say? What does it say? Benny's 415. Uh-oh. I hope we're not too late. Never fear! Kid Power's here! And about time, too. Dad? You wrote the secret message? <laughs> I knew eventually you'd get curious enough to work together and solve it. Although I was expecting you three bagels ago. <laughs> um, we got a little sidetracked. It's a long story. A long story. Those are the best kind. Benny, three more bagels over here, please. Well, I'm glad to see that Kid Power is a team again. Yay! Kid Power! <laughs> Jacob. I'm okay, Mom. I'm okay. <gasps> Sugar frosted honey crumbs? I see O'Toole and Shapiro have sent you on a dangerous mission. And I blew it. This mistake will cost me my junior kid power membership for sure. Take this inside and put it in the birch bark and bran box. Birch bark and bran? You know about that? Know about what? Oh, I get it. Mom's the word. Mom's the word. <laughs> <laughs>